25 days, 1970, we were leading the marches. Sheriff Junior Odom held us in jail for 45 days. So equipment 10, we can relate to going to jail. Oh, yeah. 45 days in Covington. Christine Brown, president of SCLC, Newton County, raise your hand. I saw you somewhere. Christine is going to be a great leader. She's over in Newton. She's probably with Reggie Eve somewhere. Now, Sister Zena Kraft, make your way down front because we're going to call on you in a few minutes. They've all spoken. Rita's spoken. Helen's spoken. We're going to have an announcement from Brother Vision. Then Zena Kraft is going to have some instructions for Gabio in a minute. So we're getting ready to wind down now. We're getting ready to have Reverend Rose close us out. you got to be quiet. You gotta be quiet now. It's been a great day. You've had a great, great, great day with Joseph Eckers Lowry and a great meal and a great march and great messages down here. So we need your attention as we get ready to close it out. Please, please, please. So we're gonna let Vision make this quick announcement, then Sister Zena will come, and then we're gonna have Reverend Floyd Rose to close us out. Yeah, Zena gonna do that. Zena gonna tell us about the dance. Reverend Vision from the National Action Network. Give him a hand. He's been here all day with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to give thanks to each and every one who made this possible. I want to remind you that all things work for the good to them that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Equipment 10 plus 2. I heard Adam Clayton Powell say this. The white man only respects two things, your dollar and your vote, the only two. But I got a third that ties into that. There was a time when we couldn't read. And because they're trying to teach our children to educate themselves, they're no longer going to be in the pipeline. They're under attack. So I thank you for bringing us together. I'd like to announce that Reverend Al Sharpton is going to be from the 4th through the 9th of March reenacting the march from Selma to Montgomery. The surviving members who were the original march, including Reverend Al Sharpton himself, God willing, Dr. Joseph Lowry will be there. We'll have other leaders from Rainbow Push, SCLC, NAACP, and all that we can bring and muster on the 9th, we're going to have a major rally because your rights to vote is being dismantled. Students who are at Georgia State can vote with their ID. But if you are at uh, Morehouse, you can't vote. If you're at Spelman, you can't vote with your student ID. Now that's wrong. Those who suffered under Katrina, who lost all records with the ocean coming in and can't produce that, those who were born to midwives, who can't produce the documents, it is all about this November election because the next president of the United States has the authority to appoint at least two to three Supreme Court justices and Affirmative action is on the agenda. They're turning back the hands of time. And one day you'll be sitting down wondering why you're drinking from a colored fountain and why you're sitting in a segregated school, why you're living in areas that you... So on the 9th of March, I want everyone to go on nationalactionnetwork.net and get all the information registered to come out with us. Jesse Jackson will be there, Al Sharpton will be there, Dr. Joseph Lowry, Martin Luther King III, all civil rights leaders from NAACP, etc. will be there. This is historic and there's no time that is more critical and the Quitman 12 shows you your dollar your vote and your education. They don't care about your status, they don't care about your title, they don't care about your car, they don't care about anything else. Your ability to spend money, your ability to vote who and who gets into office, 
and your education. Those are the main three things. The brother talked about the black farmers, hundreds of acres of land. So we have that to do. So I thank you so much. I thank you, Tyrone Brooks. You. I appreciate you so much. And we're there with you with the National Action Network. God bless you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. We got to move now. We got to move. David Brody, one of the city council members from Blackshear, we want you to say hello. County Commissioner? No, no, no. I, I'd love to be the, I'd love to be the county commissioner because they get a lot of money. I, I'm, I'm David Brody and I'm from Blackshear, Georgia. I'm on the city council over there and I'm just delighted to be here. Yes, I'm just delighted to be here today. Seeing a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that I don't know. I appreciate Mr. Brooks for just giving me a chance. I, I see him all the time and he always gives me a good hug, good handshake to let me know he welcome what I'm doing. And I, I appreciate it and I just ask everybody to keep supporting him and, and, and do it, giving him a good job. Well done. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're just trying to accommodate everybody. Um, Sister Zena Kraft, please come and give us some kind of instructions as to what you want Gabio to do or what you want the performers to do before Reverend Floyd Rose comes up. And I want all of the Equipment 10 to come up here. The Equipment 10 plus 2. I want all of the Equipment 10 plus 2 to make your way down here before we have Reverend Rose dismiss us. Please make your way to the front. Equipment 10 plus 2. Thank you. Okay, what we want to do is close out um, in celebration of Equipment 10 plus 12. We're going to do uh, a very short version of a longer production that we were supposed to do uh, back at the church. It's called Masiende. Masiende is... Uh, it's, it means unity in an African language called Limba. Um, it actually means let us come together. Um, this is a big production that we're going to do in June, around Juneteenth in Atlanta. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the story of Juneteenth and we're going to teach young people especially that um, you were free before you were a slave. When, uh, when I was about the age of these young kids and uh, I was in a, a class, and everybody in the class was talking about where they come from. And the Italians were talking about what they do in Italy, and everybody, Chinese, were talking about what they do in China. And then, literally, when they got to me, the teacher looked at me with this very sympathetic look, like, oh, well, yeah, about that. Um, you started as a slave. But see, we didn't start as slaves. We were free in Africa. Did you guys enjoy the African drumming? Yeah. I'm going to ask the drummers to come for a minute and do a drum call. In Africa, the drum is actually the voice. We call it the heartbeat of Africa. The drum call calls the communities together. Masiende means unity. One of the questions I always have about African Americans is how come we can't come together in unity in mass? If something happens to other communities, you know, Mexican, you know, they come out in mass. And so what we're trying to do is promote unity. So we're going to do a quick drum call, and, uh, and then we're going to have all the equipment tw uh, 12 come up, and uh, we're going to do the Masi Inde song. The, the bigger production has liturgical dance, um, uh, it has spoken word, it has hip-hop, it has everything, but we, we have to do a very brief version. Okay, cool.